And I want to say thank you uh, for coming. Uh, we're, it's an exciting time uh, for me, and uh, hopefully an exciting time, uh, candidly, for the cornea. Um, something I've um, admired in my whole adult life, and I've been involved in, you know, for some decades, is trying to uh, facilitate um, vision uh, by touching and helping the cornea. And I've had a, a passion uh, for the cornea for quite a while, and we've come up with an idea on how to bring more resources and hopefully advance the field even more robustly than it has been advanced for the, for the last uh, many years. And so uh, th this is, quote unquote, our coming out party. Uh, we announced yesterday um, uh, for the first time that um, Site Life Surgical has been uh, formed and we brought some capital into Site Life Surgical and as importantly as the money is we're gonna surround that effort with expertise on how to uh, bring uh, progress and innovation to the benefit of the patients um, and the surgeons and anyone uh, that surrounds the cornea and ultimately, of course, uh, to site life to empower um, and uh, move its mission for forward even more, uh, more boldly. And um, having been uh, involved in the field for many years and touched many technologies and helped, uh, thankfully, a lot of people, I'm as excited. I'm as excited about this project as any uh, that I've been involved in, so it's, a, it's an important time. <clears throat> Well, it's uh, it's really an exciting time for Sight Life, of course, and uh, and I think even more exciting time for the efforts to eliminate corneal blindness worldwide. And so, what I want to do is start off by just sharing a little bit about why this is important. And uh, as the slide here indicates, corneal blindness is a is a growing problem, and the need for corneas for transplant and therapies to help cornea blind patients really continues to grow unabated around the world. There are about 10 million cornea blind people worldwide and a global supply annually of about 150,000 corneas. And so that 150,000 corneas is really a drop in the bucket. And so what Sight Life has been about for the last several years is focusing in our mission, which is to serve as a global leader and partner to eliminate corneal blindness. And we really focused in on this idea that by 2040, no one anywhere in the world would wait for a cornea treatment. And really envisioning that day that that picture and that story would end up on the cover of Time Magazine or some similar publication. But as we did that, and we really took a, a tough look inside of our organization at the resources we had and the resources that we could generate, we came to the tough realization that we needed to evolve, we needed to change in order to really be serious about accomplishing that mission. So to achieve this goal of eliminating corneal blindness by 2040, Sight Life is forming a for-profit subsidiary that can generate, as Bill mentioned earlier, the resources to help us meet this huge challenge. If you look at the space that we exist in and we work in today, one of the main themes is fragmentation. We have a fragmented eye banking space. We have a fragmented space where providers are giving services or products to corneal surgeons. And so this actually leads to part of the challenge that we see little or no innovation in this space. Also, you look at the market size, and it's relatively modest. The US cornea transplant market is about $215 million. That's not big enough to attract the kind of capital that you need to bring to solve big global health problems like corneal blindness. And so that, combined with the fragmentation, really have been an unbreakable barrier over the last really 100 years as we today use many of the same procedures that, that existed 100 years ago. And so another thing that is become much more acute, and I would say in the last 10 years, and some of you surgeons in the audience know this very well. And the, the, the reality is, is that we also have a payment paradigm problem. 
and reimbursements for surgeons and facilities that perform and provide corneas for transplants is low. And so if you look at the math, it takes a surgeon, let's say, 45 minutes to do a cornea transplant. And they're going to get reimbursed uh, probably less than $1,000 to do that procedure. The facility fee is probably going to be somewhere in the name, same range of that, in some cases lower. And so what that means, and some of you have experienced this personally, you're going to get pressured by your partners who are not cornea. You're going to get pressured by the administrator of the ASCs that you work in to do less cornea transplants and more of other revenue-generating procedures. And all of this has actually created a situation where today we have an unspoken reality of patients waiting for cornea transplants. And that payment paradigm, the thing that's broken, is, is an issue that also needs to be resolved. And again, an area where site life alone just didn't have the resources or the ability to generate the resources or the appropriate framework to attack that problem. So to explain this a little bit better, let me uh, share, a, share a video with you. The challenge today for the 10 million people living in blindness waiting for a cornea transplant is that there is not currently a company that has the resources to meet that challenge. I lived in a country like India with the greatest magnitude of corneal blindness in the world. The choice was very simple, that, that we have to focus on this and do something about it. This is why Sight Life's mission acceleration efforts are so important. Because for those 10 million cornea blind, Sight Life can become the company that drives the innovation, that gets them the treatments better and faster. The thing about the mission is that this is something that I really feel is, is achievable in our lifetime. And it's very, very exciting to be part of something like this and uh, driven to do something that can affect so many people's lives. I feel like, how can we not do it? Now is a good time. Sight Life has gotten itself in a very strong leadership position and has a platform of skills and capabilities that can be built upon. So there's a strong foundation, and that needs to be there in order for us to fuel innovation and accelerate solving and addressing corneal blindness. A great example of the urgent need is the current challenges in patient access created by the payment paradigms that force surgeons to perform fewer cornea transplants than they did in the past. The primary challenge has to do with reimbursement for corneal tissue. And this is a huge challenge. If you're continually losing money on cornea transplants, then you actually will have to limit them. When you think about developing innovative products that get to the corneal blind, we have to embrace a for-profit structure to generate the process that makes that happen. Getting those ideas from the bench to the bedside, the hybrid organization makes this possible. It allows us to create the bridges between the mission and the idea of eliminating cornea blindness and practically delivering it. In that hybrid structure, we combine the focus of a nonprofit organization towards the mission with the resources that can be delivered from a for-profit organization bringing in capital from resources currently not accessible to us. I watch mission-based for-profit companies that deliver great value to tough diseases, and there's no way that those diseases could be solved and enough resources could be focused on them unless there was a reward and an incentive for bringing resources there and, and investment. Innovation powered by SiteLife's hybrid organizational structure gets us closer to the goal of eliminating corneal blindness faster. And that's what is important in terms of making these revolutionary steps in advancement and technology occur. So whatever helps towards that cause, I think would help us provide better procedures and take better care of our patients. A great example of a very promising innovation is Professor Shiguru Kenoshita's injectable endothelial cell therapy. One option will be the uh, cell-based uh, treatment. So therefore, uh, we are 
culturing the uh, human corneal endothelial cells and then using these cells inject into the uh, anterior chamber. This treatment for patients who are blinded by endothelial diseases provides great promise for people in the developed world, in countries like Japan and the US, but it provides incredible hope for patients across the globe in the hardest to reach areas. The time is now to begin to transform the cornea ecosystem. In order to really do what we're set out to do, which is to eliminate corneal blindness, it requires a lot of capital, a lot of time and effort. The world needs an organization that can innovate at the speed of need. And SightLife is that organization. One of the things that is necessary for us to accomplish our mission is to unlock the passion that surgeons have for their patients. And we can unlock that passion by giving them the tools to treat and prevent corneal blindness. In order to produce innovation, I think we need something very exciting, activating, that people like to join. Such an atmosphere is necessary. SciLife as an organization has the right mix of entrepreneurship, of mission focus, of business savvy, of networks across the globe to pull all this together in a hybrid organization structure that works for eliminating corneal blindness. One of the things that makes me incredibly excited about SightLife's mission acceleration efforts is the children who will benefit. We'll be able to help millions of children never even remember what it was like to be blind. By broadening our efforts to include treatment and prevention, we can transform the cornea ecosystem to eliminate corneal blindness in the next 25 years. Mission acceleration means that by 2040, lives will no longer have to be put on hold while waiting for a cornea transplant. So I apologize for a second. <laughs> Give me a moment. A little uh, emotional because it's so exciting. Having worked on this mission for 25 years. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> One of these days I'll figure out how not to do that. Turn this. <laughs> But seriously, um, having worked in this area for 25 years, and to get to this moment where we, uh, SightLife, SightLife Surgical, uh, the investors, and you, the surgeons, uh, have the resources to truly get after this mission and make a difference and make it happen by 2040. Uh, it, it. So, uh, as I kind of work through this, um, <laughs> what do you think? Does he need a little help or what? Yeah, my, 